and welcome back to Thoughts of the Roundtable with me, Matt Rebar. Paul is not here tonight because Paul's daughter refuses to go to sleep, and I get it. You want to stay up late, you want to gossip with your friends, even when you're two years old. But I am joined by Starbolt Studio uh, staff members slash amazing creators of their own right and constant collaborators on the stupidest things that I want to do in life. Blaze Pratt, Karen Adams joining the call. How are we doing tonight? So good. Happy to be back. Living, man. L I V I N. <laughs> well, tonight we are, we do this pretty much every year on Thoughts of the Round Table, but we're doing it a little differently. Usually it's Paul and I, but tonight it's Karen V. Blaze in a game that we like to call Is That a Hallmark Christmas Movie or Not? I'm going to give you a title. Both of you are going to lock in your answers to whether or not you believe it is or is not. And feel free to add a little explanation if you would like. No worries if you don't want to. And uh, make sure to keep your own scores because I'm busy. I got things to do. So keep your own scores in your head or whatever. I don't, I like how both of you were like, ah, paper, paper, pen. <laughs> notepads. Uh, um, we're going to see which one of you is the true winner of is it a Hallmark Christmas movie or not? So uh, without further ado, I think we should just jump into it. So I have a quick question. Of course, answer. So you're giving us possible fake titles. Are there fake synopsises for these fake titles you came up with? I am just going to give you the title tonight. <laughs> okay, okay. I, if I had more time and or remembered that a fake synopsis would be funny. Uh, <laughs> also, I could like totally improv them, but then like probably for the real could movies, for the real movies, it might like get it wrong. I don't want to like, give you false info on like a real title that's like a false synopsis but but honestly whatever you probably improv would be more believable than the actual movie we'd be like mm -hmm. oh my god that definitely sounds right or it would sound too good we'd be like no that's not hallmark I, it, like it actually has a plot i am a firm lover of the terrible hallmark movies i have yet oh. to go on a holiday stint of the terrible hallmark film um but <laughs> netflix had a couple of good ones starting a couple of years ago with um What's your name from High School Musical? Oh. Vanessa Hudgens? Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> oh, the like princess movies? That's not a Hallmark movie. That's a Netflix original. No, this, I, said, I said that though. I said Netflix has been oh, doing a okay. good job with crappy Hallmark-like movies. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Starting with Vanessa Hudgens a couple years ago. And so they like put a new one out every once in a while too. But yeah, man, the Hallmark movies, they be having their own home, like the holiday channel. Like that, they mm -hmm. come out every year or every oh, yeah. like, all, all year. Reg long. subscribes. Reg is a big Worth fan. It. I am not. <laughs> I can't do it. Blaze's mom, Worth. Reg. Uh, shout out. Um, okay. How about this? For the real ones, I will read the synopsis. How about that? After we have locked in our guesses, we will. Okay. Do that. And then next time we play this next year, 2023, <laughs> looking ahead, I will create synopsises. I will. All I'll right. First one, is this a Hallmark Christmas movie or not? Christmas Kisses. Gut instinct, no. See, so off my gut instinct, yes. It sounds not PG. It sounds too... <laughs> hmm, okay, I, fo I follow that logic. Okay, um, so Blaze, you've locked into a no. Karen, have you locked in? No. I've I've locked into a yes because I think it's just rhymy enough to get away with. Yeah, uh, that's a no. It's uh, me mm. created that. Uh, Blaze, I think you were right. It's a little too risque, a little too on the yeah. nose. How yeah. dare they kiss? Yeah, they only can come a little close and then like cut away. <laughs> There's no actual lips on lip action in any Hallmark no. movie. There's like a car horn that honks in the distance, like <gasps> oh. oh. So close. <laughs> okay, number two. So Blaze's up one. Christmas at the Golden Dragon. I I'm, not say... getting, I'm not getting much gut feeling off of that. <laughs> yeah. But um, I also want to say yes, locking it in. Karen locks no. in. Feeling that. No. Okay. Karen says yes. Blaze says no. The answer is yes. With the town's landmark Chinese restaurant closing, <laughs> oh God, two siblings find themselves reevaluating their lives alongside the restaurant's loyal patrons. Wow. Does that lead that me to believe that awful. Hallmark like, didn't cast white people? Because I thought that was like their thing. 
Um, well, to be fair, it's a Chinese restaurant, but I, so me, I don't know, maybe, maybe the white people own the Chinese restaurant, mm. which, you know. But, you know, hands off to Hallmark if they're including diversity. Yeah. I think they're trying because they, they kind of got, they, they got ripped on that. Okay. So it's already a tie. We're off to a good start. Uh, number three, sugar cookie Christmas, Hallmark movie or not. Yes, because I think I've seen it. Yeah, my gut check was also yes. Well, Cookie is for sure a Hallmark movie. Well, you guys got Matt Rebard. That is not a Hallmark <sighs> movie. Thanks. It should be, though. Doesn't it sound like a good title? Sugar Cookie. Yeah, yeah, I literally just sweet. said I think I've seen it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Planting false memories. <laughs> uh, okay, number four. Christmas CEO. Yes. CEO. No, because they always go to the hometown. They don't become the CEO for Christmas. They get away from the CEO for Christmas. No. But they are the CEO and they're becoming too corporate. And they're like, you know what? I need to see my old high school sweetheart to really just get those roots. <laughs> um, so, so we've locked no. in. Locking in, no. Okay. It is a small town company <laughs> CEO gets a once in a lifetime offer to merge with a mega toy company, but will need oh. her estranged ex-business partner's signature to seal the deal. What he helps her rediscover will change both their lives. Oh, Is oh. it the magic of Christmas? It always is. It always is. <laughs> and of course, they were business partners. Now they're going to be romantic partners, right? I mean, we see that coming. Uh, okay, next one. Three wise men and a baby. <laughs> No. Three wise men and a baby. See, but there's a movie out there called Three Men and a Baby. Right. So is there a holiday spinoff of Three Men and a Baby? And is it called Three Wise Men and a Baby? Yes. Karen goes it. yes. I'm Please. doing it. I yeah. lock in. I, no. I want it. I want to see it. It if sounds it like if the answer is no, I want it. Well, the answer is yes. Three brothers get the surprise of their lives when they're forced to work together and take care of a baby over the holidays. Wow. So they're falling in love with the baby. Mm -hmm. Knew it. Knew it was a spinoff kind of, of three men and a baby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Girlfriends of Christmas past. Yes. 100%. Yes. Yes, that has to be one. Zero hesitation. Guess what? It's not. Oh, no. but no. And this is where the, this is where I get really tricky and a little little nihilist on you guys. What about boyfriends of Christmas past? I would also one hundred percent say yes. yes and no hesitation. Boyfriends of Christmas past is a movie on Hallmark. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get to the about section. Wait. So were those two different questions, or did we two different ones? I tricked you up. I was a little tricky. Uh, okay, so Boyfriends of Christmas Past, leading up to Christmas, uh-oh, marketing, marketing executive Lauren is visited by the ghosts of four ex-boyfriends. She must learn to open her heart or risk losing her best friend, Nate. Oh my God, she's murdered all of her boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. All right, next one. Deck the wine with boughs of holly. Deck the wine with Bows of Holly. Too long. It that yeah, I mean, like for being about wine, it feels like it doesn't have the right flow. I want to go with no. You guys are correct. That is not a movie. And thank you for the insult to me, apparently, because apparently <laughs> that title sucked. So. <laughs> it didn't suck. It was too long. Hallmark Christmas movies are like three words. Okay, well, speaking of three words, this next one. My Southern Family Christmas. Yes. Was that a yes, Blaze? Did, it, 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 I can't hear Blaze. Blaze, yes? Why are you so yeah, quiet, Blaze? Your mic's out. Oh, Blaze. oh, there you are. Okay, now I hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, My Southern Family Christmas. When invited to cover a Pair Noel Christmas celebration in Louisiana. Campbell, a journalist, meets her estranged father and his new family for the first time. 
Wow, that is. Hell no, I'm going wow. home. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't live this whole life up to this point. I am going to continue on. Adios. <laughs> okay, are um, we on question number 10? I have not counted them. Let's see. Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, this next one's so. number 10. Okay. okay, cool. Because I was worried that I lost count, but I, I'm up there. All right, this next one is hashtag Xmas. Ooh. Hmm. It's so cringy. I want to say yes. Mm-hmm. Are is Hallmark that so I'm trying that hard? Yeah, I agree. It's all I agree that it's cringy. And it's almost so cringy that I want to say no. It doesn't feel like it matches Hallmark to use right. a hashtag. I'm gonna say yes because it's cringe. <laughs> hashtag Xmas. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Blaze is right. It is a movie. <laughs> when Jen gets the chance to enter a brand's design contest, she poses a family influencer, enlisting the help of her best friend Max. Oh, and her baby nephew. When her video is selected <laughs> as a finalist, Jen is torn on whether to go with her perfect quote family or reveal the truth. That's a uh, terrible name for that movie. That name should be like right. not a good Christmas name. Deception. Not a, that the name does not does match it, the synopsis. Lied did it come to my out family. in like 2013? Like no, it's actually really recent. That's the sad part about that. <laughs> like if I was like 20, even 2015, I would totally get why they went with it. But yeah, no, that was like last year, I think. So Oof. Oh my God. uh this next one is a Christmas cookie catastrophe. Hmm. So, uh, Christmas cookie Christmas from earlier in the list was no. Mm-hmm. Christmas cookie catastrophe. I also want to say no. I'm on the fence because I'm it, also I mean, I'm also on the fence. I'm gonna go with no. Like, Log it in. Not overthinking it. No. I'm going with yes. I know I love alliteration, but I don't know if Matt does. Call Mark Woods. So um, I'm going with well, yes. Blaze, let's not be blasphemous. I love alliteration, <laughs> first of all. How dare you try and say to the listeners I don't. Um, this is! Oh! <laughs> Annie faces her first obstacle as CEO. What's with all the CEOs? I can't. Um, she faced her first obstacle as uh, CEO of Cooper's Cookies when Grandma's <laughs> secret recipe is stolen. More alliteration. In, I know, right? While <laughs> investigating the theft, she works with local baker Sam to recreate the beloved recipe. Oh, a lot of baking, a lot of baking. Lot, Maybe that's why my mom baking. loves these. A lot, a lot of baking. baking. Well, I feel like baking—that's a good make it or break it moment for whether you're trying to get with someone. Because if you can't bake together, you shouldn't date together. You can't make it together. Yeah. Oh, make it, bake it. That probably rhymed better than mine. So F me. No, it was good. It was good. Ah, Well, you made it better. Ah, And I'm a little jealous. Make it. Make it. (laughs) Uh, Where were we? Okay. Uh, Call me Christmas. Yes. No. Wow. Both of you on that one. Uh, Call me Christmas is not a Hallmark movie. That is a Matt Rebar. Because I'm trash. (laughs) <laughs> I think Blaze is a little too good at this. I I'm a little worried about where she's I think so. Of. For the one who claims to not watch them, to not like them, <laughs> seems to know a lot about which ones are real. I think what hey, happens is Blaze's mom. Hallmark. Blaze's mom watches them, but Blaze watches in the background like a stalker. Like no, I can hear it in the kitchen. I hear those like tones when they're changing scene, and I'm like, oh, it's a Hallmark. Like I don't even need to see it. I can just hear it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Do you think Reg would go? One. Do you think Reg, uh, Blaze, Blaze's mom, Reg, do you think she'd go 100% on this game? Absolutely not. No? She, you don't probably don't would she... just say yes to all of them because she <laughs> wants to watch them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she'd be like, I, I want to watch, watch Call Me Christmas. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She does not remember the names. She would probably get some, but I don't think she like comprehends the names of all of the ones. Gotcha. She's seen so many. Gotcha. Uh, this next one, Coyote Creek Christmas. Yes. Why not? More alliteration. Good, good, not? Lit- good alliteration. 
feels like they like to pick the place that the show that like the movie's mm-hmm. going to be right. about mm-hmm. and then they remind you that it's a holiday movie yes mm-hmm. you Coyote both are creepy. correct yeah. while throwing a christmas around the world party at her family's inn an event planner discovers christmas magic with a charming father-son duo whose presence brings about tension and joy oh what kind of tension oh. all right uh next up we have christmas on the ranch yes no Blaze is right. I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Karen. It sounds like a movie. It really does. I. It's just because I want to watch them. So the answer is yes to them all, of course. I'm. I'm telling Bring you, Hallmark. If I see in 2024 any of these titles have been made into a Hallmark movie, Hallmark better be sending me a fucking check. I am. I am. I never swear on this show. But if I see Christmas on the Ranch in 2024 in Hallmark, ooh. Oh. Um, okay, our next one. The Christmas Doctor. Hmm. No. I'm feeling no. Although I'm imagining a story playing out for this Christmas Doctor. <laughs> Blaze, where are you at? Still going with no. Oh, it was Blazing O2? I think okay. she I think she said yes. she's she's yes, oh, yeah. Your voice went out again. Yeah, Blazing those those AirPods. Someone needs new AirPods for Christmas. Um <laughs> please. Um Blaze is correct. Zoe is a traveling doctor who prefers short assignments to staying put. So when she is assigned to a small town clinic for the holidays, she is surprised when she starts to feel at home. And it stars Holly Robinson Pete. Uh, who's, who's that? Her. Oh, I thought we knew them. I <laughs> 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 it sounded familiar. I don't know. I was like, okay, like of course, Holly. Yeah, yeah. Holly. Oh, yes, yes, girl. <laughs> With a name like Holly, I feel like you got to do at least a couple Christmas movies, right? So, all right, the next one, the Christmas Lawyer. Yeah. Santa's lawyer. Go. Blaze is going now? Yeah. It's not a movie! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, because you went right from doctor to lawyer. So I was like, no. I mean, again, though, could easily be a movie, you know? Could, Santa's could. lawyer. Santa's, Santa's lawyer. Was it's Santa's, the Elf's oh, Union rep. <laughs> uh, actually, that reminds me of one of my favorite um, Christmas movies of all time, which is the one where there's like the courtroom scene. What movie is that? Is it Grandma Got Ran Over by the Reindeer by the Cartoon Network with the whole... No, that is your favorite Christmas movie. That is. I so love that probably. <laughs> um, okay. Next one. Undercover Holiday. Yes. Yes. Yes! When returning home for the holidays, newly minted pop star Jalen tells her protective family that her overzealous security guard, Matt, is in fact her new boo. Oh. oh. All right, let's see. What's next? Um, New York, New Christmas. Hmm. I'm going to say yes, because I think, Matt, you can do a better title than that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say be no because though. Matt looked mildly offended. <laughs> All right, we locked him in. Guess what? I made that up. <laughs> oh, I was like, this is either gonna be a stab at Matt or just like. <laughs> Karen, watched my face go. <laughs> For a moment, yep, I, I broke read Karen. the room. Yeah. Read the room. Oh my gosh. Um, this next one, the Christmas promise. Yes. Yeah, it sounds feels just like easy enough. Feels like someone has to return to their like Christmas themed hometown after they leave for better things or mm-hmm. something. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you can watch it on Sunday, December eighteenth. Uh, Nicole learns to deal with grief nice. with the help of her grandfather and a carpenter she hires to renovate the home that was once meant for her and her fiance. 
Oh, sad. It says starring. It says starring Tori Devito. Is that Frank Devito's kid? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I've maybe. actually said. I've said before that like the cushiest acting job must be doing like Hallmark holiday movies. Right. Oh, I'd kill it. I would right. love it. We have ten more left. Here we go. Final. It's our Christ. final. Left. Holy cannoli! That's a lot. Okay, I'm love. I'm loving this. Uh huh. Uh huh. A lot of a lot of criticism from Blaze tonight. This, this episode okay. should be called Blaze Critiques Matt. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. All right, Hark the Christmas Call. Yes, sounds like a movie that the Hallmark Channel made in the '60s. <laughs> Blaze, no, it's not a movie. I How should about... just always say the same thing as Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> How about Jesus, it's me, Cindy? No. Jesus and Cindy Lou Who? <laughs> that's the that's the sequel. Yes. It's not a movie. How about a very Jesus? right? Blaze is good at this. I've really How about a very merry bridesmaid? Yes. I like very Mary. Yes. And Leah's, Mary. Oh, yeah. Bridesmaid Mary. Leah's 30th birthday is on Christmas Eve, the same day as her brother's wedding. Ew, who has a wedding on Christmas Eve? Oh, my God. Who's born on Christmas Eve? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that one makes a little bit more sense, I guess, because, you know, nine months from Christmas Eve, you know, that's that's one thing, but... Um, Leah's childhood crush is back in town for the wedding, mm. and he is determined to make sure her birthday does not go by the wayside. Oh, Ooh. oh, and it stars Emily Osmond. Wasn't she Hannah Montana's best oh. friend? Oh, we should all oh, we gotta together. watch it. That one we can watch. Oh, it's Friday, December 9th at 5 p.m. Oh, that's a terrible time. <laughs> 5 p.m. on a Friday, people are working. I haven't even had dinner yet. Jeez. Okay. Well, all the people watching Hallmark movies are like retired or work from home. I'm yeah, sure. That's so that's true. Uh, this next one, Holly Report and it. Ivy. Holly and Ivy. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. It is. Oh. Um, um. And that one next airs Friday, December 9th at four a.m. Oh God. What? Um, <laughs> When Melody's neighbor Nina learns that her illness has returned, Melody promises to keep Nina's kids, Holly and Ivy, together. To adopt the children, she must renovate her new fixer upper, which she does with the help of a contractor named Sam. Oh. Santa? Oh. Sam. Oh, no, Adam. I don't know why I said Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Imagine being like, girl, I'm dying. Can you watch the kids? And they're like, yes, let's run at this house, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just paint their room real quick. My contractor has abs. Oh, and then she's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you can watch Holly and Ivy. But the contractor. Like, <laughs> um, good night, Christmas. Mm. No. I right. also want to say no. It's not. How about Good Morning Christmas? Yes. Blaze says yes or no. Guess no. what, Blaze? You're wrong. I <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Two squabbling television hosts are sent to a festive small town over Christmas. That's why it's Good Morning. While pretending to get along for the sake of appearance, they discover there's more to each other than they originally thought. And then it says Allison Sweeney. Do we know Allison Sweeney? Does that ring a bell? Or kind of I'm, I'm only 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 anyone from the the cast of Hannah Montana would I recognize. <laughs> All the right, girl from the girls who's in every single Christmas movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tori Spelling. No. Oh, my Lacey God. Sherbet. Sherbet. Oh, Lacey Sherbet. Okay, I gotcha. Um, all right. 
this next <laughs> one sister swap christmas in the city so like probably but like also <laughs> so so like yeah yeah locked in mm-hmm. blaze going with the yes. In these interconnected movies, oh, it's two. <laughs> Jennifer and Meg Swift are sisters who couldn't be closer despite living hours apart. Oh, this is a p- paragraph. I'm not reading this fucking paragraph. I'm oh, sorry. Next movie. We know what happens. Okay, they they meet a guy and the guy the guy next like movie. kisses them and all that jazz. Uh, okay, okay. We have three more. Three last three. Christmas in the Catskills. Yes. No. It's not. Oh. <laughs> how Guys. about how about Christmas in Tahoe? Yeah. Yes. It is. To save her ex, to save her family's hotel Christmas show, talent booker Claire must ask help from her ex-boyfriend Ryan, the lead oh. guitarist of a now famous band that fired her as their manager years ago. Oh. Ooh. He Nazi. was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Christmas with the Darlings. Yes. No. It is. When an assistant gives her final notice, she is drawn into helping <laughs> the charming younger the brother question. of her wealthy boss as he looks after his orphan nieces and nephews through Christmas. Oh, that's a horrible. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> wow. All right. Karen, how many did you get right? Okay, let me count them real quick. One. So was it 30 questions or 29? I didn't even count them, so let me count them. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, it looks like 29. Okay, awesome. Because that's how many I have. So I counted right. Here we go. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Ooh. fifteen. Blaze. Fifteen. Totally Blaze. Yeah, I got fifty percent. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't keep track. Blaze. I did. I did for a while, but then I was like, <laughs> Oh my god, this podcast is canceled. Uh, no one's gonna hear it. No, I'm kidding. Blaze, you probably got like twenty. You I don't probably. Know. We're totally gonna say Blaze won. Ass. I feel like Blaze won. I don't know. I mean, Karen. Yeah, I think she did. We. Oh, I definitely like went oh, like way more times than she did. <laughs> I think. I think the bias is Karen is constantly around me, and so I think Karen thinks of me as like very good at this kind of like legitimate artistry. So legitimate I think Blaze. Artistry. Blaze can see through my bullshit a bit more. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well this is really fun um thank you for celebrating the christmas with me i hope to see both of you back on thoughts of the round table pretty soon and have a happy holiday whatever you celebrate in the happy new year adios Mwah.